Hey everybody, my name is Billy and welcome back to a new Let's Play of Alan Wake. Normal, yeah, it'll get easy. Um, yep, yeah, I am doing this blind. Stephen King so, once wrote that nightmares exist yeah. outside of logic and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. How good are these graphics? <laughs> I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. Oh dear. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. Be quiet, he was still driving he was the road. <laughs> I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. Alice? Who the fuck is Alice? <laughs> the fuck? Suddenly, his body was gone. Like I said. Uh, Episode one, the nightmare. Right. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stay on my feet. And how am I doing? The hell? Uh, no. Oh, no. A load of book. I was certain I had just driven from this direction, but now the road was blocked. By a large brick wall, what the fuck? Um, I had to go to the lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Okay, um, I tried to do this before, so I got to, I got to a little bit, so it's not entirely blind across just actually to the lighthouse itself. So yeah. That's the, the first time I've played this while I was trying to record. The bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find another way to the lighthouse. Anyway, there was a thermos here, which is part of a collectible. There's hundred, apparently a hundred thermos around here somewhere, so... And a QR code, that looks like something from Bioshock and Yeah, this is keeping me the fuck out. Jump! <laughs> you missed your deadline! I 
I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. How does it feel to die by the hands of your own creation? something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? No. No. Follow my light. You can't hurt him now. The darkness protects him from all harm. Only light can drive the darkness away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Now you'll die. No. Good. You've done well. Remember <coughs> what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. Terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Right. You made me this way, and now I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. 
Good boy. Right, anyway, oh. just like Anyway, like I was saying, he is somewhere around here where there is another one of those thermos things. <laughs> I can keep this up forever. Looks like I missed it. Right, left. Maybe just another nightmare. Everything's fine. You dozed off. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife, Ned. If you don't mind me saying that. I'm Pat Maid, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Alan Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. 
I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. Thank you. They're cute. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's cute. Right. <laughs> yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax I show you that the part of joint, do you? So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Ooh, good. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you, too. Alan, we're here. Come on, let's get back to the car. Oh, the wife drives. Ooh, rabbits again. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh, God! I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Oh, of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cutout from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. <laughs> and you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Yeah, bad. Try the coffee. Just don't blame me when you fall in love, because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here Do is no Do me a no favor, life. Sonny! I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Mm, okay. uh, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Now that's what I'm talking about, yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna leave it off here for the moment. So, thank you once again for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!